the history of the Computer Transitions Conference, uh, I guess I was involved in the first one peripherally, but I wasn't one of the spearheaders. Um, but I was part of the second one, and what happened both times was that through Satoshi Akita's class uh, in Anthropology Sociology, it's a food course, they, he provided five interns uh, each year that help uh, one of the CSU executives. So at the time, the first year was Benjamin Prenti as VP Sustainability, and I had the position of VP Sustainability last year, uh, which is when we uh, developed and created and had the conference together. Um, and I guess like the idea behind the Transitions Conference was to give information to people what it is to activate and energize uh, and bring awareness to the things that are, are happening on campus and allow for uh, a lot of the community members to become active agents in this change that was happening. So I feel like there were a lot of things why it happened and I mean I'm more close to certain projects so I guess like I saw the Loyola Greenhouse, it was a good time to be able to bring awareness about the students wanting that development. Um, and I mean, it, there's food production, so this is an aspect that we can give a lot of awareness to. Okay, what is happening? There's City Farm School. Uh, there was, uh, not the first conference, but by the second conference, there's Campus Potagy. There are a lot of different organizations that kind of sprung up that we can say, hey, like, look, this is happening, get engaged. And then um, there's also showing the direction. Like, hey, like, this is what we can do. Like, we can take over the food system. We can democratize the food system. We can start growing, we can start providing. So from the first conference to the last, to the second conference, it was interesting because the Hive Cafe Co-op didn't exist in the first one. And we're talking about this idea, this, this, this space that we can have and we could call our own and we could provide food for students in a way that we think is fit and involve students if they're not okay with it. You know, making sure that there's a, a way for them to get involved in the governance structure. And then by the second conference, well, it existed. And it's just seeing those, those changes and being able to document them and talk about them and look at the next steps collectively, I think is a very important part. So, yeah, and I feel like a lot of the people that, you know, weren't there in, after, before the first conference started getting involved in the Concordia Food Coalition and in other groups, and it really made a difference. These people are pillars to the food movement at Concordia now. And yeah, I think it, I think it did what it had to do, and yeah, I'm really happy about it, and I hope that it continues happening in some way, shape, or another. 